everybody. Hey Quinn, when do you think we're gonna see a dragonfly again? Again, there's no such thing as a dragon, Cadence. <laughs> Quinn, Cadence. not dragons, dragonflies. You know the big insects we see during the summer? What do you mean? I think we need to learn about dragonflies. Let's learn about dragonflies. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that like button. A dragonfly is actually an ancient insect. Dragonflies have been around a very long time. Want to know how long? Well, they've been flying around our Earth for over 300 million years. That's right. Dragonfly's ancestors first appeared over 300 million years ago. But they were much larger at that time. It's estimated that one extinct species called the Meganoramani had a 30 inch wingspan. Currently, the largest known dragonfly is the Petalora incontessima. This dragonfly lives in Australia. It has a wingspan of up to 6.3 inches or 16 centimeters. Not sure if you've ever seen a dragonfly? Well, let us explain a bit more about them. Dragonflies are insects that have long bodies with transparent wings and large eyes. And dragonflies also live throughout the world. Hey, guess what? Did you know there are over 5,000 species of dragonflies? About 450 different types of dragonflies live just in the United States, and they like to live in warm climates and near water. So, where do dragonflies live? Dragonflies live in a lot of different places throughout the world, but they are most commonly found in warmer climates as well as near water. It is very common to find dragonflies near rivers, swamps, lakes, ponds, as well as streams. Did you know that dragonflies actually start their lives in water? Did you know that dragonflies have a three-stage life cycle? First, they start out as an egg. Female dragonflies can lay up to 1,500 eggs at one time. And female dragonflies lay their eggs near water, often on plants. When laying eggs, some species go under the water to lay their eggs on a good surface. Next, the eggs hatch into a nymph or larva. And while in the nymph stage, they eat mosquito larvae and other things. Most of a dragonfly's life is spent in the nymph form beneath the water surface. They are very active. Then nymphs, called naiads, swim and live underwater. They are almost like fish. The naiads, which look nothing like dragonflies at all, hatch and then immediately start to swim in the water. During this stage, which can last up to two years, dragonflies will swim and eat just about anything. They will eat tadpoles, mosquitoes, fish, and other insect larvae. The nymphs have been known to also eat each other. And a nymph can extend its jaw in front of its mouth, and it does this to catch its prey. Some nymphs even hunt on land. Want to hear something kind of funny, but true? Nymphs will move fast underwater by bringing water in and out of their rectum. Yes, that's right. They suck in water through their butts. Then they squirt the water out of their anus, which acts like a tiny rocket, mm -hmm. which makes them move fast to catch their prey. Finally, they molt and become an adult dragonfly. The dragonfly crawls out of the water, then its exoskeleton cracks open and releases the insect's abdomen, 
which has been packed in kind of like a telescope. Its four wings come out, and they dry and harden over the next several hours to days, and they become adults. Unfortunately, most adult dragonflies live only a few weeks, and some others live up to an entire year. Hey, guess what? Did you know that dragonflies are some of the most colorful insects on the planet? Hey, guess what? Did you know dragonflies come in a variety of colors including blue, green, yellow, and red? They also come in a range of sizes, from half an inch long to over five inches. And dragonflies are insects, which means they have six legs, a head, a thorax, as well as an abdomen. The abdomen is a long part of the body on a dragonfly and it's long and segmented. Even though dragonflies have six legs, they aren't the best at walking. But they make up for that by being excellent at flying. Dragonflies actually have two sets of wings. These two sets of wings help them when they are flying because they don't have to beat their wings as often. To give you an example, a dragonfly will only flap its wings about 30 times a second. A bee flaps its wings around 300 times per second. The average cruising speed of a large dragonfly species is around 10 miles per hour. Large species of dragonflies can reach as much as 22 and 34 miles per hour when they fly. This makes dragonflies one of the quickest flying insects in the world. Not only that, but dragonflies are expert flyers with the ability to fly in every direction and even hover like a helicopter or drone. And dragonflies can even fly backwards. If they can't fly, they'll starve because they won't eat the prey they catch while flying. We learned what dragonfly nymphs eat, but what do adult dragonflies eat? Well first, according to Harvard University, dragonflies are one of the most effective hunters among all insects. It's estimated that a dragonfly can catch up to 95% of the prey that they try to capture. Wow. And one of the best things about dragonflies, they love to eat mosquitoes and gnats. The more dragonflies you see, the better control there is on the mosquito population in your backyards. So don't be afraid of dragonflies. A single dragonfly can eat 30 to even hundreds of mosquitoes per day. Besides mosquitoes and gnats, they also eat all types of other insects too, including cicadas and flies. And they have also been known to sometimes eat moths, butterflies, and even smaller dragonflies. Dragonflies catch their insect prey by grabbing it with their feet and create a basket with their legs. They then swoop in and capture their prey with their legs, biting it as they hold it in place. They will often eat what they catch in their legs while they are still flying. And although some of the bigger dragonflies may try to bite, they cannot actually break the skin or cause any damage at all. So generally speaking, dragonflies are harmless to humans and will not bite whatsoever. And even though they look like they have a huge stinger, that's actually their body. They actually have no ability to sting at all. Adult dragonflies have to be careful for birds, spiders, frogs, 
and even larger dragonflies as predators. In order to see predators as well as their food, dragonflies have large compound eyes. This means their eyes are made up of thousands of smaller eyes which allow the dragonfly to see in all different directions. Their compound eyes are very large and have up to 50,000 individual lenses. Their eyes wrap around the top of their head and because of this, dragonflies have a wide field of vision. This means that a dragonfly can see almost everywhere at once. And did you know that in some cultures, if a dragonfly lands on your head, it is actually considered good luck. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, guess what? Boom!